I'm going to give you a quick overview of my new motorcycle lift. Um, basically, I'm using a walk behind little forklift that I picked up the other day. And I've made a little carriage for a motorcycle to ride up on and to lift it up to work on it. I have a couple other um, YouTube videos of motorcycle lift tables as well. I have five bikes, so I'm constantly needing lift space. Anyway, um, what I started out with is a piece of 10 inch wide uh, I beam, 10 inch, 12 pound I beam, so it's about 3 16 thick. Give you a quick overview. Okay, so I'll just start back here. Basically, I just took a torch and cut this, bent that down to make a little ramp, cut off the, the angle there. Moving forward, I have a cutout right here, and that is to clear these legs. Right here, I have the cutout for a fork, and then underneath that cutout, I used a piece of 5 8 inch rod to go underneath that to uh, to keep it from tilting over, or if it does want to tilt over, that it, it'll it'll kind of catch it and keep it from coming off there. Moving forward, there's the other one, exact same thing, another leg <coughs> cut out. Moving forward, it's just a piece of 5 8 inch rod that I've bent around for a, a, a wheel stop on the front. I notched out of the I beam a little uh, two by two. Use some two by two by quarter inch tubing, welded plate right here for my hook. On the bottom I have wheels. Over here and lift it up and show you the bottom side of it. As you can see, I can lift it very high. Just gotta watch out not to get it into my Now I am underneath it. You can see here some uh, wheels here to pivot on. And uh, you'll notice that the height difference here to here is enough to clear those legs. So the deck of it's about four inches off the ground. Coming around back to the back, I just have a single wheel here. So when this is not on the forklift, um, have a bike tied down you can just push it around sideways whatever in the shop where's my little truck over there need to get it out so i got more space but anyway um so here it is and so you need to get to something you get to come in from the bottom side the only downside to this the little table that i made lower it down to show you is right here the I-beam I've got these uh, it's about an inch and three quarters and so that will limit me when I'm trying to reach up underneath the bike um, change an oil filter maybe it, it might get in my way so it's not a flat tabletop I kind of I couldn't cut that off because of how I had to cut these out I would lose the strength of the I-beam so anyway that's uh, pretty much an overview I don't know, my material cost was probably about $100 for the I-beam and the wheels and a few other bits of scrap metal. So, there it is. Come back here so you can get a good look. Right now, the thing's about probably four and a half feet off the ground. I'm going to go in and build another, another type of uh, mount that'll go to the forks that I can reach up here to the frame just like uh, your regular motorcycle jack would so I can get the, the tires and whatnot off so there it is thanks for watching